In a significant boost to home construction in Region 2, 58 residents have received steel and cement vouchers through the government subsidy program. The initiative, aimed at supporting home builders, saw the distribution of vouchers by the Minister of Housing and Water, the Honorable Colin Crowell, during an outreach at the Regional Housing Office on the Essequibo Coast. This program, which has been pivotal in promoting home ownership and stimulating the local economy, continues to make a substantial impact in the lives of many residents. Let's learn more on this episode of Community Talk. There's an initiative that was announced by His Excellency in July of 2022 that is for the steel and cement subsidy program to encourage con new construction for encouraging home ownership. Similarly, for those all of those persons who have been allocated um, in the new areas. So, to date in Region 2, here we have distributed 125 of such vouchers today. So, that's to date today. Another 58 will be eligible to uplift their vouchers just following when I'm finished speaking, you'll be able to uplift. So we're talking about available about $14 million that immediately can be injected on that program to, this, uh, to the economy locally. But overall, for the steel and cement, we have paid out on this program and so sometimes we don't speak about our success story. We just we are making requests, you're receiving those, those benefits, but we also need to speak, tell the story. The steel and cement voucher subsidy that we, since we've started that, we have issued to the value of over $319 million. This government is delivering the promise to the people, especially in the housing sector. And in the housing sector don't, does not have house lot allocation. They have the, the roads, they have the water supply, they have the electricity, and people can have the title or transport that they can do small business. So I really appreciate um, 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 the Ministry of Housing and the two ministers that they can come often into the region and resolve this matter. It is a testimony we need today, a small crowd to resolve issue. It means that people are very comfortable in region number two. I do really, really needed to help my mom, but she already passed. But it still comes in, in time that I could do something for myself. I think it's a very good initiative. It will help a lot. And for finding this money for start, they can help a lot for um, at least start. Very pain, I feel glad. Because right now, I'm really need. So I can complete and um, a little more I will finish. I'm very happy. I feel real good because I know that I'm going to get my home, which I've already started, that it's going to complete now. So I just want to thank the government, thank you all, thank everyone else, thank the most I, the Lord Jesus Christ, who has opened up a way for me to get this place. I'm very excited. As the government's steel and cement subsidy program progresses, it continues to foster economic growth and improve the quality of life for residents in Region 2. With over 183 vouchers already issued, the initiative is not only helping families build stable homes, but also injecting significant funds into the local economy. Minister Colin Crowell and his team remain committed to engaging with residents to address housing and water related issues, ensuring that communities' needs are met and their aspirations for better living conditions are realized. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Community Talk.